3.3 number 1. Here we're given the graph of an equation and we're also shown two points on the graph and we're asked to find the slope of the line. There are two different ways you can approach this. First method is find the slope by counting on the graph. And the way you do that is to Remember that slope is equal to the change in y going one, from one point to the next, or the change in the height. So keep in mind the y is the height, divided by the change in x. And keep in mind that x is always a sideways position. So on this graph that we have right here, if we start with our first point that they give us, and we figure out, well, how does the height change going from the first point to our second point? And we count. It changes by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. All right, it goes up 6. Up is very important. Up means plus 6. And then we look and see, well, how do we change sideways? The sideways position from our first point to our second point is one, two, three, four. And it's to the right, which means positive four. So if we reduce, three halves equals the slope. The other way you can do this kind of problem is to use the slope formula. So the slope formula tells us that the slope equals the change in the y positions, or the second y minus the first y, divided by the change in the x's, x2 minus x1. So what we need to do is label our points that we have. Let's call this first point here point number 1, so it gets x1, y1. And let's call the other point up top here point number 2 which means it'll get x2, y2. So the first point is at the position of minus 1, 2, 3, so minus 3 for x, minus 1, 2, 3, 4, minus 4 for y. All right, so we have minus 3, minus 4. Our second point is at 1, 2. So we have minus 3, minus 4, and 1, 2. So once you get the points off of your graph, really it just turns into plugging your points into this formula here. y2, so we start over at point number 2, 2, take away, y1's position is minus 4, and watch that you're subtracting the negative, the double negative happens there, divided by x2. So here's point number 2, the x position is 1, take away x1, minus 3. So these plus out, giving us 6, these plus out, giving us 4, and you'll see we'll get the exact same answer as above. So do it whichever way you prefer, either method works.